So we've had several people comment where they're wondering about the relationship between POTS as a diagnosis, but also their memory problems and where those two things interface. A lot of the people that we see that have POTS, well, the reason they have POTS is because of cerebral hypoperfusion. They're not getting enough blood to their brain. If you're not getting enough blood to your brain to be able to kind of like be up and around and live a normal life, the process of encoding memory is, is part of that. So we're going to have breakdowns in our ability to be able to efficiently encode memory if we're not able to feed those areas very well. You can localize it with different areas of the brain. So some people might notice, I have a really hard time remembering names, which may be localized to one portion of the brain in the, in the left hemisphere. Maybe that they don't recognize faces, which is usually common with the lower part of the temporal lobes. They might find that like all of a sudden math becomes very difficult. Um, and again, in the dyscalculia in, in the left side of the brain. So when we look at all these things, we ask that next question, which is like, oh, you're having memory problems. Like describe like some examples of what you're experiencing. And that helps us localize that. So then when we go look at hypoperfusion or vascular changes, it helps us dig a little bit deeper to understand where do we need to target? How can we, how can we make this better for this person?